More people have been looking skyward in the weeks since several fires over Labor Day weekend were attributed to trees falling on power lines. Austin Energy has noticed those concerns. Calls reporting branches too close to lines are up 75% now. KXAN's Jared Wise joins us live with how they address those worries tonight down at City Hall. Jared. Leslie, a majority of those calls into Austin Energy are related to issues like you see behind me, trees appearing to rub against power lines, but those aren't actually power lines. Those are phone and cable lines. The power lines are actually higher up on the phone pole, on the poles you see right there, and as you can see, there are no trees up there, but Austin Energy has about 50 crews out making sure there are four to eight foot spaces between those power lines and nearby trees, but budget cuts could soon affect that service. I've got an electrical power line down. I'm afraid it's going to spark another fire. It was a reason to panic in Bastrop, and trees and power lines are now a concern here in the city of Austin, where there has been no major fire yet, but the continued dry conditions are becoming more of a worry. That there's a heightened sense within the community, and we're receiving a lot of calls. That's one reason Austin Energy gave a briefing to the Public Safety Commission on Monday night. It takes about five years for their crews to complete a tree trimming cycle throughout the city. But now they're facing a half million dollar budget cut, which could eventually affect their tree trimming services. We're always sensitive to the funding issue. That's certainly a concern for us now. It's also a concern for the Austin Fire Department, currently having to add additional staff members on red flag days. Epic drought. And so I think it calls us to action to look at things differently. The city's fire department is looking outside the area, asking for ideas throughout the county, state, even country. And then also, it's important for us to talk to, to folks on the West Coast, folks that have been de dealing with this wildfire problem for decades. Uh, there's no sense in us reinventing the wheel. Let's look at the, at the knowledge and experience that's out there and, and try to tap into that experience. And seeing how the drought could last well into next year, the city is hoping for continued assistance and input. But like I told the commissioners, uh, it didn't get this way in two months. This is uh, over, the, over the course of time, over decades, the, uh, the wildfire problem has, has, has grown. And so it's going to take us a while to fix it. And we also learned tonight that the Austin Fire Department and Austin Energy will now be working together to find more fire prevention solutions, which they could ultimately present to City Council. Reporting live in Central Austin, Jared Wise, KXAN News.